Hey guys, this is Nicole Scott. And this is Sasha Pallenberg. And today we're going to talk about the new HTC Butterfly S. Well, at the beginning of this year, HTC released the original Butterfly or the Droid DNA in the US. And this was the first 5 inch smartphone that came with a 1080p display. And to be honest, I love to hate it. Not because of this beautiful screen and the cool hardware, it was pretty much because of the battery life. They only squeezed a 2000 milliampere hour battery into this device, but now we have a successor. Yeah, with the Butterfly S, we have 3200 milliampere, which will definitely get you through all day. And it's available here in Taiwan already. And might even come to the US market as the Droid DNA S. And to let you guys know if it's worth the wait, why don't you check out our review? <laughs> The HTC Butterfly S packs a 1.9 GHz quad-core Snapdragon 600 CPU, a 5-inch 1080p Super LCD 3 display, a 4-megapixel ultra-pixel camera, 2GB of RAM, 16GB of internal storage with a micro SD card slot that goes up to 32GB, a giant 32mAh battery, and Android 4.2 Jelly Bean with HTC Sense 5. We think the HTC Butterfly S is one of the best smartphones currently available. The huge battery at 3200 mAh, one of the fastest SOCs on the market, and a SD card slot so you can add in memory on your own, and last but not least, a sexy industrial design that just feels really good in your hands. We also like that they've added back in the three standard buttons. The camera found on the Butterfly S, which provides similar results as the one on the HTC One, is also one of the best cameras in a smartphone. But keep in mind that even though this is also using the UltraPixel technology, it comes without an optical image stabilizer, which kinda changes the image quality in a low light environment. You will also be very happy with the performance. The benchmarks on the 1.9 GHz Qualcomm Snapdragon 600 processor are near top of the pile. In our Quadrant benchmarks, it easily outperforms the Samsung Exynos 5 octa-core. But it's not a match for its big brother, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 processor, found in such a smartphone as the Sony Xperia Z Ultra, which scores over 18,000 in Quadrant, which is roughly about 80% faster than the Snapdragon 600. But if you're looking at real-world results like gaming, opening apps and multitasking, this is one snappy handset. What don't we like about the HTC Butterfly S? Well, it's made of plastic, and the back plate tends to smudge quite easily. The only other thing we don't like is the price. It's expensive, at 22,000 Taiwan dollars or 730 US dollars, which is more expensive than its competitors. But it's the same price as the HTC One when it was first released. The price on the One has since come down, so we don't expect this to be an issue for very long. Right now we have limited release in Asia, but we're expecting a rebrand, similar to what we've seen with the Butterfly, turning it into the Droid DNA. Maybe something like the Droid DNA S. So the HTC Butterfly S, yay or nay? Totally yay! I absolutely love it. Five inches is the biggest that I can really use with my hand size. It totally fits. I can reach the notification bar. I really love it. The only downside for me is I have to install Nova Launcher to cover up Sense 5. I can't stand it, especially in the back end when you have to go up and down to look at what's installed. That's so silly. It should go back and forth like vanilla Android. I think that for me is the biggest downfall of this phone, but it can be covered up with an app. What about you? Well, what I definitely love about the HSC Butterfly S that they improved pretty much each and every specification that I hated about the original HSC Butterfly. First of all, it starts with a battery, 2000 milliampere hour battery in the original one, 3200 milliampere hour battery now in the new HSC Butterfly S, which makes it um, the five inch smartphone with the highest capacity battery out there on the market so I can easily get through my day and if you compare this um, to other HTC devices especially with sealed batteries it also comes uh, with a micro SD card slot which in my opinion is huge if you compare this to the HTC One. Yeah. Uh, when it comes to the SOC Snapdragon 600 clocked at 1.9 gigahertz so 
So this is also one of the fastest handsets that's available. Plus, you're also getting the amazing 4 megapixel ultra pixel camera that we all know from the HTC One. And in addition to this, we also have the front facing boom sound speaker. So yay or nay? Definitely a big yay. This is the best 5 inch smartphone on the market that money can buy right now. If you're on the market for a new device with a long lasting battery, with a beautiful and crisp 5 inch 1080p display, you should definitely consider the new HTC Butterfly S. Why?